Hi, my name is Dr. Sammy, and today we're going to be talking about dental fractures, in particular fractures of the front teeth. Fractures can occur in many different ways, shapes, and forms. Some people fracture their teeth while playing sports, some people fracture their teeth when they fall down, and some people fracture their teeth by simply biting on something really hard. Now when we talk about fractures, we have to look at the extent of the fracture. Fractures that are very minor can be fixed in a very simple way by doing a natural tooth color filling on top of the tooth and typically that person goes away unscathed. They don't need a lot of work. Some fractures are extensive. They involve the dentin of the tooth or they involve the nerve of the tooth. People with those type of fractures have to be dealt with in a certain manner. Some people need root canal therapy followed by a crown. Some people can still get away with the composite filling. And some people, unfortunately, need to take the tooth out, followed by an implant placement or a removable means, like a removable denture, because you want to maintain that space. The most important thing to do is to call your dentist, schedule an appointment, so that they can look at the tooth, determine the extent, severity, and the health of the tooth, take some x-rays to look under the gums and to see whether the roots are involved or if the fracture goes very deep uh, into the tooth, and then they're going to formulate a treatment plan individualized for your particular case. Now I want to talk about a variety of cases we see every day at our practice. The first case involves a young boy who was playing basketball with his friends. The basketball hit him in his face and he chipped his front two teeth. Now when we looked at the teeth, we could see that the fracture was pretty superficial. It did involve the enamel of the tooth, and it did involve the dentin, but we were able to proceed with a composite filling. Now, with these cases, you have to keep in mind that these fillings may be replaced in the future with another composite filling, or a crown, or it may need root canal therapy. Typically with dental trauma, we need to monitor the tooth and make sure that the patient is continues to be symptom-free over time. So the next patient comes to our practice with a very superficial fracture. She was chewing on something hard and she felt a piece of her tooth uh, come out of her mouth. Now with these very superficial fractures, typically there are two options to go with. The first option being to smoothen out the edges and create a nice flush surface to the tooth. And sometimes you can camouflage the fracture with this method. The other method is to add a composite filling to the tooth to basically realign the edges and give you that natural look. Now this patient was very unhappy with the chip and she wanted it fixed by the additive method we talked about. So we did a simple composite filling. We tried to match the color the best we could and we ended up with a really nice result. The final case involves a patient that came in after a sports related injury. If you look at the tooth, it's broken in half. But surprisingly, the tooth was still healthy. The patient didn't present any sensitivity or pain, so we decided to go ahead with a crown preparation. We use crowns when we need more mechanical retention for a longer lasting restoration. We went with the custom shade that matched the adjacent teeth, and the patient left very happy with the results. I hope this short video gives you a better idea of what to do if you fracture your teeth. Always consult with your local dentist, and if you like our videos, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.